What is going on? It is me, Mr. Poe. We're going to play a game called Quizzing Mr. Poe. Now, Mr. Poe, do you know what we'll be doing today? I have no idea. Well, today, you'll be guessing which book has a higher rating on Goodreads.com. All right, guesstimation. So I'm going to give you two books, and you have to tell me which one has a higher rating. You know, each one has a category. So this one is Twilight. Ugh. <laughs> so we have the first book called Twilight. Twilight is a love story with bite, deeply seductive with extraordinary <laughs> Then we have Breaking Dawn, which is the last book in the original Twilight saga. So between the first book mm -hmm. and the last book in the original saga, uh -huh. which one has a higher rating? It's got to be the first one. I'm sorry, Mr. Poe, that's incorrect. Oh. The first book had a rating of 3.61 out of 5, and Breaking Dawn, the last book, had a rating of 3.71 out of 5. Dang. All right, next category. It's also another very popular series, The Hunger Games. So we have the first book, The Hunger Games. Every year in the ruins of what was one North America, the capital of the nation of Panem, forces each of the 12 districts to send a teenage boy and girl to compete in the Hunger Games. Or Catching Fire, the sequel to the Hunger Games. So those two books, which one has a higher rating? Hunger Games. Mr. Pro, you're correct. <laughs> it is the Hunger Games. <laughs> Hunger Games has a 4.32 out of 5, and Catching Fire has a 4.29 mm. out of 5. Delicious. Next category. <laughs> We have Harry Potter. So we have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, mm. which is the first book uh -huh. in the Harry Potter series. All right. And we have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, which is the last book in the original Harry Potter series. So between those two, which one has a higher rating? The first one. That's incorrect. Oh. It's Harry Potter the and the Deathly one Hallows. First made it to the last place. <laughs> Sorry, I can't save you here. So the first book has a 4.48. Uh huh. And the last book has a 4.62. Out by one point? Really? Put my point uh, one? It's close. It has a higher rating. I'm sorry. All right. Now, this one, this category you might not be familiar with, but I'm quite familiar with. They're John Green books. You know who John Green is? No. He's a very popular young adult author. So the first book is The Fault in Our Stars. Oh, I do know that one. Yeah, it's by John Green. Yes. So The Fault in Our Stars is about Hazel and Gus who share a sarcastic wit. One of them had Ooh. right? <laughs> 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 the guy, the, Ooh. the guy, Ooh. I, I, oh. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. I am right. All right, yeah. It's about Hazel and Gus who share a sarcastic wit and a love that sweeps them on an unforgettable journey. Mm. This book was later adapted into a movie, Wait, which I also, saw, which, which is how I know, oh, yeah, <laughs> which also did quite well. Yeah. Then we also have the other book, Looking for Alaska. It's about a teenager named Miles who is enrolled in boarding school to try to gain a deeper perspective on life. After an unexpected tragedy, Miles and his friends try to make sense of what they've been through. So between those two, which one has a higher rating? Fault in Our Stars. You are correct. The Fault in Our Stars has a 4.48, and Looking for Alaska has a 4. All right. Next category, Dr. Seuss books. So we have- Want some green eggs and hands? That's not on here. <laughs> but we have, <laughs> we have the Lorax mm. and the Cat in the Hat. Two classics. So between those two, which one has a higher rating? I'm gonna go with the, the Lorax. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Poe. The cat in the hat. No, it's the Lorax. All right, get the ring. All right. The Lorax has a 4.32, and we have the cat in the hat with a 4.16. Yes. Next category, we got mystery books. Okay. So we have, the first book is Gone Girl. On his fifth wedding anniversary, Nick reports his beautiful wife, Amy, ben Affleck. missing. <laughs> yes, 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 that's in the movie, yes. 
I remember now. Amidst a media frenzy and pressure from the law, Nick's portrait of a blissful union fades. Soon his behavior prompts the question, did he kill his wife? Mm -hmm. Next book, A Time to Kill. The life of a 10 year old is shattered by two drunken and remorsed young men. The mostly white town reacts with shock and horror at the inhuman crime. That is, until her black father acquires an assault rifle and takes matters into his own hands. So between those two, which one has a higher rating? Gone Girl. Mr. Poe, you are correct. It is Gone Girl. This one's close. Gone Girl has a 4.09. A Time to Kill has a 4.08. Real close, real close. This one, you might be familiar with is the Game of Thrones series. All oh, the glasses got come off. Now, we have the first book, which is called A Game of Thrones, and then we have the sequel to the first book, A Clash of Kings. Which one has a higher rating? A Clash of Kings. Sorry, that's incorrect. Oh. Of the Game of Thrones, which is Game of Thrones. No, 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 sorry. You're not getting out of this one. <laughs> I'm not doing anything for you. So the Game of Thrones has a 4.44 and a Clash of Kings has a 4.41. Okay. Next category, books that turned into Netflix originals. So these are books that were turned into Netflix shows or movies. Okay. So the first one is 13 Reasons Why. If you don't know what 13 Reasons Why, it's about a high school student named Clay Jensen that lands in the center of a series of heartbreaking mystery sets in motion by a friend's tragic suicide. Then the next book is To All the Boys I Loved Before. It's about when a girl's secret love letters somehow get mailed to all five of her crushes. Laura Jean finds her quiet high school existence turned upside down. So which one has a higher rating? 13 Reasons Why. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Uh, are you serious? Yo, what is, are you rigging this for me? No, I'm not. So look, look, see? I have, I have the high, answers highlighted. Like, I'm not reading it. <laughs> so 13 reasons why. Every single book I've said has been incorrect. What is going on? You got like one, right? <laughs> That's not, I feel like this is rigged for me to get things wrong, am I right? It's not rigged. It's literally a number we grabbed from a website. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I, I demand, demand a recount. recount. Anyways, 13 reasons why has a 3.9. And to all the boys I loved before has a 4.12. Okay. Next category, Batman comics. The first comic, The Dark Knight Returns. If you don't know what The Dark Knight Returns is about, here's the synopsis. Forced to take action, The Dark Knight Returns in a blaze of fury, taking on a whole new generation of criminals and matching their level of violence. Is that when he's old? I believe that this is an older version of Batman. Then the next comic is The Killing Joke. Oh, that's tough, man. So wait, do you know what The Killing Joke? Yeah, okay. both of them are tough, because yeah. they're both good. So which one has a higher rating? I'm gonna have to say The Killing Joke. Mr. Poe, you are correct. All right. Yes, The Dark Knight Returns has a 4.26 and The Killing Joke has a 4.37. Nice, okay. And if you don't know what The Killing Joke is about, Here's the synopsis. According to the grinning engine of madness and the mayhem known as the Joker, that's all that separates the sane from the psychotic. Freed once again from the confines of the Arkham Asylum, he's out to prove his deranged point. Last category, we have manga. So the first one is Naruto, volume one, and Attack on Titan, volume one. Between those two, which one has a higher rating? If I get this right, do all my all the answers that I got from the other ones become automatically correct? No. Naruto. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. What? It's Attack on Titan Volume One that has a higher. I'm rating. done. Naruto. I quit. Naruto has a 4.40, and Attack on Titan has a 4.44. Listen, Mr. Paul, today was not your day. But remember, don't feel too bad. These are subjective ratings, because these are user ratings, remember. These are people what they... So those people were wrong. Uh, oh, <laughs> I wouldn't say that. This is Mr. Poe. Thank you so much for coming here. 
quizzing me just remember to put the books that you like on the comment but also comment subscribe and like <laughs>